Is your new dog here? Yeah, he's downstairs. Oh, shit. She's not staying. Oh, no? Well, they haven't played, but at the same yeah. time, it's really just the fact that she requires so much attention that she's just she's having the opposite effect. Like, Omar, like, went downstairs and pouted last night. Yeah. And didn't want to have anything to do with anybody. She snapped at him when she got up on the couch, and then Omar came to the couch. She snapped at him, so I was like, all right, that's yeah. what I'm like, we don't even... So you can take her back tomorrow if you'd yeah. like. You know, it's like there's no point in even entertaining this. Yeah, because you don't need that extra. Why do you want to have to train that? And well, that's what I'm saying. Was we both agreed to. I'm like, look, we do not need another dog to give attention to. Yeah. We needed a dog to help give attention to this one. It reminded us too, like we don't need a third dog right now. Yeah. You know, like in that house. Like that's maybe true. when we move or something, but yeah. she's so big in that house. And then to seal the deal last night, she went downstairs and took a shit in the closet. I was like, all right. Oh. So they knew you were only taking her for a trial. It's not. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We were just gonna take her for the weekend or whatever. Yeah. Damn. That's sad. And the bunny. Like I started to feel. I have developed. Emotions. I was thinking that. Too. I developed feelings for the bunny. Alex is so fucking crazy. <laughs> She's sitting there trying to test this out. She's sitting on the couch, just like staring at Luna, watching the bunny jump around, watching Luna look at it. And I was like, Alex, you need to fucking do something. And she's like, yeah. well, I'm watching them. I'm like, you are it's not. going to take a split yeah, second. Yeah, I was like, that bunny is going to be fucking deceased in yeah. 15 seconds. You need to stop playing games. Like, this is Mother Nature. You're not God. Yeah. Like, this is going to happen. You're fucking yeah. crazy. I was like, this dog just came off the street. It's surviving. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. It's a dog. Yeah. Like, the world is not through <laughs> your fucking crystal lens, woman. Yeah, was that was my first night. thought. Not yeah. even other dogs. Well, like, it wants to kill rabbit? it. It wants to kill it. For yeah. sure. Well, well, <laughs> what happened there? Well, well we're well, lost at the airport. <laughs> we're not lost. The man's pulling into a garage right ah. now <laughs> ah. <laughs> for no reason. No. The airport's, airport's over there. It's that way. I don't know if you've ever been here before. This is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Take the wrong. It should turn. cost nothing. I'm it's really. A, it's a gamble. If really not, you should ram it. Yeah, just go. Just you know. please insert ticket with black stripe facing down. Processing. Come on. Twelve dollars. Dude, I'm <laughs> losing <laughs> if it costs money. Twelve Come bones. On. Twelve bones. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank nice. you. They were trying to oh. buy time. They are rounding up the minute to <laughs> yeah. see if they could catch you on that $5 jump off. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to, to the departures. Airport. Yeah, now that we've done a little tour. Yeah. So if you were going to park here. So when you come to Denver, the Denver <laughs> airport, if you're going to park, you have different garages. One is that garage. It's $28 a day, by the way. <laughs> Learned that in the last trip. All right, All right I'll see you. Just yeah. text me when you're coming back. All right. All right. All right. Peace. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I get paid for it, but, <laughs> but I, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't consider my, you know, I don't carry myself in a professional regard, man. So, we made it to our room. Boop, 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 boop. We're at the Magnolia in Houston. Very minimal, it's okay. But the hotel is free. I had so many fucking points with Marriott that this whole trip is free. I got my weed. You already know, you already know, I gotta bring the dro. Um, and then of course, my laser cat dog. My own cooler. I just gotta make a cooler, bro. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. cooler, cooler I made.
Rock scruff shirt. I saw that, dog. Look at the scruff shirt. Look at Rock and the scruff daddy. Mine never, he sent me that shirt and it never showed up. But this one? Yeah, this shirt's fucking He scammed me. What's up, dog? What is that? Oh, what's up, player? <laughs> How you doing? How are you? All right. You got it, can still a five minute drive. Oh shit, that's right behind us. That's right. Pit room dog. Pit room. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking risky sandwich. A1 right now. Mm. Oh my god. I uh it's it's morning. I completely, completely overdid it last night. <laughs> at the restaurant at oh, man, pit room. I ate so much food. It's not it's not normal amount of food. I mean it wasn't it wasn't that, it, that it's not that I ate in volume I feel like so much food. I mean I guess I probably did. It's a lot of food. It's so good. Whew man. It was really really good. It's really delicious. I just I couldn't move dog. Like I just I came here. I guess I drew my Hanya for tomorrow or for today. I just hung out. I just hung out. And then foolishly I, I got stoned and then foolishly went downstairs and got cookies because Magnolia has a cookie bar from like a certain time and I walked down there and I saw cookies. Couldn't say no to those either. <sighs> Today, I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything at all, possibly. But we need to go down to the shop right now and get this tattoo done. We have a really big tattoo to draw for tomorrow too. I have a lookbook to finish. This girl's been waiting on me. So there's a lot of shit going on. And earn snowboarding right now. I ate pit room last night and I could not fucking move for hours. <laughs> like 14 hours later, I woke up this morning like, bro, I don't feel like shit. So, done tattooing. Everybody's gone. I don't know where everybody went. There's literally no one at the shop right now. All the tattooers left. I have a huge, not huge, but a pretty big, intricate, difficult drawing to do tonight for tomorrow. And fucking George, that guy that tattoos here, talked me into buying a fucking futuristic dildo tattoo machine that's basically battery operated and wireless. So, I just spent all the money I'm gonna make here, probably, on, uh, another tattoo machine. I guess that'll motivate me to make sure I do all my traveling this year and make more tattoos. So, if you're out there, I'm coming for you. I have not eaten anything today except for beaver nuggets. We'll talk about those soon. Yeah, I need to get something to eat because now my appetite is here. I'm hungry. I don't think I'm gonna get barbecue. I think I'm gonna get some hand rolls, some sushi hand rolls. I think that's the move. Back to the We just had Hondo or Hando, which I assume has something to do with hand rolls. That's pretty good. I mean, sushi in the United States is expensive uh, at any type. I've experienced in Japan, a hand roll is cheap. You know, most times they can hide. I like hand rolls, prefer them, but you can hide a lot more in a hand roll. You know what I'm saying? Fish don't gotta look so perfect, it's hidden. So, those are words from Toshi. But that was pretty good. Solid dinner. A lot better feeling than last night because I'm still super full from the barbecue from dinner. My customer, Jason, brought me the beaver nuggets. Oh, we're super dark in here. Beaver nuggets from Bucky's. If you know, you know. These are terrible for you. They're so fucking good. Don't read any of this. None of this. Just look at the cute beaver and taste the sugary goodness. But it's time to draw. Yeah, draw for tomorrow. Not a lot of uh, 
No nightlife. You know, normally I know we're out clubbing. We're in a new city. Not this time. All work. Ugh. Drawing work. I'm sure some of you are wondering. Did he really just eat sushi last night and that's it? The answer, I ended up getting Frank's Pizza downtown Houston. Now, I need all of it. There's still a lot of pizza left. But I wouldn't say it's amazing. Like I wouldn't go out of my way for it. I wouldn't be like come back to Houston and be like, damn, I gotta get Frank's. But solid, solid pizza. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. We're back. <laughs> this, uh, I haven't really vlogged too much because I've been working to tattoo and vlog at the same time. You know, Dirty Earn elected not to come on this trip, so no cameraman assistance. As mentioned, it's hard to vlog yourself doing just tattoos. To really go out and explore Houston, but Houston is crazy, dog. Like, things, there's no central area. Things are just everywhere. And there's not really, I think I understand why people in Texas like to eat and they like sports because I don't know if there's that much more to really get super involved in. Sorry if you're from Texas and I'm offending you right now. But at 6.37 on a Saturday night, I got one more tattoo to draw. I kind of wanted to go out to get food, but really feeling unmotivated to go out on a Saturday night. So I'm gonna chill for a minute, which may just involve ordering food here and drawing and chilling. We'll see. Dumplings, son. General Sal's. People. Okay, so, Houston. There's really not much going on. I gotta be honest. Um, I ask everybody, you know, I just tweeted this, but when I go to a city, <coughs> you know, a lot of people will tell me what to do. Uh, I'll ask people what to do, whatever, what have you. But in Houston, the literal only response that you will get that I've gotten uh, from asking anyone what I should do is, are you hungry? And do you like sports? There's really in Houston not much else going on. Pretty sure that's why people move to Austin because Austin's got a lot more. Till Texas but there's like m entertainment and just things to see. Which also just leads me to think about <clears throat> cities and traveling and how I feel about most of it. Um, whereas like when I went to Japan for so long, eventually the traveling also becomes somewhat not pointless because you get things out of it. You're getting to taste different foods, you're getting to see different things, but there's something about the construct of everything. You know, it's like, no, there's nothing going on in Houston to entertain me. Then I start questioning why I need to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? Like, should I be working on stuff? Oh man, I'm tired. I don't know if I should work on anything. I guess I'll just eat, you know, or I'll just not. There's just, you know, finding stuff to do like as a human being. <laughs> I think is sometimes just difficult. <laughs> it's really just funny when it um, slaps you in the f It's just been slapping me in the face a lot lately, I guess. You know, like after you eat and see something, you know, what what is left of your life, you know? It's like, I don't know what to do when I'm taking a break from being, from making stuff. And I never have. I don't know how to relax to the point where I like not doing shit. I have a really hard time with it. Uh, so it's my own little personal struggle. Struggle here, even with uh, <clears throat> going to, coming to Houston and just tattooing. Even though I did a bunch of fun, really cool, met awesome people, doing another fun tattoo today. It's work, you know what I mean? I, it's it takes a lot of work to draw it and tattoo it and apply it and do all that stuff. But then I'll still feel like, oh man, I didn't do anything today, you know? I did do shit today, like I, I did do things, you know? But in my mind, because I didn't go out and go do something, it feels somewhat like you know I have this nagging feeling that I didn't do anything. Really fucking weird. So uh, that's pretty much, pretty much where my mind is this morning as I finish up this last drawing. My man Brett, actually getting the teddy bear, Theodore bear, first tattoo iteration. And then that is actually dropping today here at 11 in a 
which is noon here. In a couple of hours, we got the drop. Friends and family, you also have a lookbook that's coming very soon. Just trying to ship some other stuff first so y'all don't get too behind. That uh, 65 Roses drop closed on the first day of the 12th, so we should have it very, very soon, and it should start shipping out really, really soon. And then we can figure out uh, what we're what we're doing. But yeah, I mean, mostly it's just last night I got Chinese food. The rice box. I got Chinese food from the rice box. It was okay. It was decent. It wasn't my favorite. I don't really love Chinese food to begin with, I guess, really. But at least, yeah. Well, I like some. That's not true. I love dumplings. I don't like some of the Americanized Chinese food, I guess. But I do. I used to really like it. But every time I get something like General Sal's or Sesame Chicken, it just it's not good. That place in Seattle was ridiculously good. But a lot of places that you get, it's kind of like soggy tasting. and It's not as good. The noodles there were good, though. I had some noodles. I'm going to do this tap. <laughs> All right, La Mexicana was very good. I thought that was pretty fire. Super solid. That's pretty much it, man. That's Houston. I'm not, I just got back from going out. I uh, spent way too long at the shop. I got my friend Corey super stoned. And we hadn't seen each other in a good like six, seven years. So we just kind of hung out at the shop and caught up. And then I just went and got dinner. And now really, nothing. I mean, tomorrow I have all day tomorrow if I want to hang out. I'm probably going to switch my flight to an earlier flight if it's available. Because there's really just not, at least not much to do that excites me. So I may end up just uh, heading home. <laughs>